So what is up guys, coming to you from the Wade MMA studio. I know I look a little crazy right now, but I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting us throughout the year. And before we get into our MMA awards for 2023, I just want to share with you a quote. And the quote reads, stop wondering about, you aren't likely to read your own notebooks, ancient histories, or anthologies that you've collected to enjoy in your old age. Get busy with life's purpose. Toss aside empty hopes and get active in your own rescue. If you care for yourself at all, do it while you can. This quote was from Marcus Aurelius, one of the great emperors and known to be one of the few good kings. And I just wanted to share that with you guys before we get into this MMA awards. And also, lastly, before we get into the podcast, we're going to be talking about Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler and other things, including the MMA 2023 awards for Wade MMA and the Will vs. The Way podcast. However, to start off all of these honors and awards, I want to talk about the best moment of mixed martial arts in 2023 and that moment the best moment of 2023 has to go to israel adesanya knocking out alex Pereira. i mean i don't think there's anything greater than a man who has lost and lost and lost and can finally say that i overcame not only did he overcome the biggest challenge in his career but he also overcame his own mental demons he also overcame fear he is the one let's not forget who brought alex Pereira to the ufc he's the one who brought Alex Pereira to the title after Alex Pereira had only three wins in the UFC. And as the champion, he's the one who decided to fight Alex Pereira. So whilst there might be a lot of hate on Israel Adesanya, and I understand why there is, we cannot deny that that was one of the greatest moments in MMA history, not to mention the greatest moment in 2023. With that, thank you guys for tuning in to the Will vs. The Way episode 23 podcast, the MMA Awards, and I hope you guys really enjoy. I like that damn talk. Just a little clumsy, bro. That's all it is. Y'all say clumsy, I know that nigga. He's a terrible person. 100% believe that in myself. So you don't love that damn dog? I hate the damn dog. Bro, one time, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. I ordered some good Whataburger. I'm talking, bro, everything. Everything. Cinnamon roll. Uh, I had a milkshake. This nigga sat in my room, jumped on top of my dresser, ate the whole bitch. <laughs> That's what they do, bro. Yeah. Oh, when they, he, that's what they do. Guess it? what I do. How old? Was <laughs> <it>? <laughs> I'm just guess what the fuck. I do. How old was he? Huh? How old was he when he? Three when years happened? old. A grown man. Three years old. He's 21 years old, dog. He, he's old enough to know what he's doing. He was three at that time when he ate your water. Break. Three years old. Yeah, man, dog. Stay Tell me what I did to him. What did you do? To you? I was tired of hitting him. <laughs> I was tired of hitting him, so I was like, let me think of a better way. You see that outside right over there, over yonder? He was one with nature. How long? Huh? I can't disclose that type of information. <laughs> let, let, I can't disclose that type of information. Let this dog outside for a month. Yeah. What you mean? <laughs> hey, sometimes no. they're not supposed to be inside. No, dogs, no, so. no, no, no. You want to, no, he an inside dog. That, <laughs> no, no. He, he, <laughs> he's an inside dog. He had fleas when he came uh, back in? No, no, he can't get fleas. What do you mean you can't get fleas? They're hypoallergenic. So they have some type of whatever mechanism. That's whatever. Crazy. The fleas no, don't that's stay just, on them. Really? Yeah, the fleas so don't like his hair or whatever. They hair? The way their hair is, the fleas don't, can't like, I guess, they can't populate in there. So only if they have fur? Yeah. I don't believe that. Bro, my dogs can't get fleas. It's a labradoodle. They were physically bred not to get them out. Can, <laughs> can a lab. Lab. How do you spell Labradoodle? Labradoodle. I'm not gonna. Don't don't try to see. You trying to get me caught up? <laughs> you trying to you trying to see? I said hypoallergenic. They're probably not even the right. Yeah, they could definitely. Yeah, hypoallergenic. I think that's just that's like, just people. That's for people. Not, yeah, not the but uh, it's like when um, pretty much like Yorkies, uh, uh, labs mm. or Labradoodles or whatever, poodles. They don't. They have hair. So mm. like they don't shed, no. Yeah, they don't but shed. they get fleas for sure. You didn't have no fleas though. My dog never had fleas. That's good. That's blessed. Never. Since that's I've blessed. Had dog. I've had man. My dog has had fleas. That's it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I'm itching all the time. The only dogs I've ever had that got fleas was the pit bulls. Always got fleas. You, they were outside a lot. Yeah. The whole time, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. We had a couple dogs that couldn't come inside. Not no all, way. Not all of them came. <laughs> 
Ain't no way he come inside. That dog come inside. It's, <laughs> no, no, it's you, over. Yeah, unless you like get him trained. Or something nah, like that. I don't train them dogs. Yeah. Nah, they can train them. No, outside train them. The terrain. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they the couldn't be inside. Yeah, no, nah, they can't come inside. They didn't see too much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They've been outside. They already years. explored that. Yeah. Like prison. <sighs> it was this episode 22? 22? No, 23. 23? Jordan? Yeah, it's episode 22. Man. Man. The way. Man. Uh, glad to be back, man. It's uh, happy, New happy New Year's. Happy New Year's to New both Year. of y'all as well. Happy no, New no, Year's. Happy New Year. Uh, yeah, what, do you, what do you got planned for the New Year? I don't think I should disclose that type of information on the. Okay. Oh yeah, no, no, okay. yeah, yeah. Just some New Year activities. Yeah, no, yeah. That's cool. You ever seen Fruitvale Station? Yeah. I have. Mm-hmm. Why would? Why would <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that would pertain. You might have to explain that. I don't know, I don't know why that would pertain. Well, we got something planned for New Year's. Ooh, we funny. we definitely do. We gotta yeah. we didn't do our awards. You know, every MMA show is like you know they do their awards yeah. every year. Yeah. Um, but we different. We're different. It's an MMA podcast, right? So we do what we want. We talk about what we want. Uncensored MMA. Uncensored. Feel me? Willing. Willing. Like villain. a like a villain. Merch coming wow. soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. But um, all right, man. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of first off. Matter of fact, before we even get into this. We gotta talk about Connor. You sure? We gotta talk about Connor. I'm yeah, so no, disappointed. Bro about to fight a. Uh, Hold on. You see, did you see how he announced it? What he did? Hold on. What the? Ladies and gentlemen, a happy New Year to you all. I'd like to announce the return day for myself, the notorious Connor McGregor, for the greatest comeback of all time. Will take place in Las Vegas for International Fight Week on June the 29th. Come a little closer. Come on. And the opponent, Michael Chandler. And the weight, Mr. Chandler, 185 pounds. (laughs) (laughs) There's no way he's actually fighting. How much steroids could this man have possibly done? But to be, I know he looks he looks thick, but like he's beyond that. That's one eighty. Bro, he's gonna have to cut it. He looks like Michael Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's t- yeah, I think he's is he taller? Bro, he, he looks he looks like terrible. Him. Looks terrible, dog. All that muscle. What happened, dog? How's bro, that looking terrible? What, uh, if you beefed up, that's not terrible. Conor McGregor fought at one hundred thirty-five pounds. He is currently two hundred seventy pounds. One hundred and forty-five pounds. Dog, that's not that's uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, not nah, uh, before it is or whatever. They were, I know Ilya. He threw his name in the hat. He said, "Shit." He didn't want that he type said, of smoke though. He said, "UFC." No, he's thing. not fighting Ilya. He's not fighting. He's that not guy. getting down to that weight. No, he's just not fighting that guy. In 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 their proms, he's not fighting nobody worth no, nothing. Conor McGregor had 145 pounds mm-hmm. versus Ilya Zaporia. He beat up Ilya. You talking about prom prom Conor? Yeah. There's not too many people whoop his bond. Nah, but this guy is not prom Conor. That's a whole different human being. But what makes you say that though? He don't even look like the same no, guy. No, 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 not the prom Connor. Yeah, I don't oh. think he's in his prom either. But like, what makes you think that he'd be Ilya? He'd be, he'd touch on Ilya. Because Connor got the whole, he got the whole nine. He got the whole nine. He can grapple. Yeah. Not he can, like he'd, Ilya. Be, he'd be okay grappling. He'd be straight. Like, he can hold his way. But a fight, like, hand-to-hand combat, he'll punch on Ilya. I think Ilya has better stand-up then. Because he's a boxer. That's what you say. No, he'll that's punch not, on Ilya. That's not why. He, he, he boxed a little bit, but he really uh, kicked Josh Emmett's legs. That's how he broke him down. You can kick Connor's legs. You kick his leg. And then that yeah, then force him into the and the thing is is like so Connor, his style, he's uh he's a sniper. He's a sniper and he's a pressure fighter. Right? What that makes you, I don't know, counter fighter, I guess like yeah. that. Like he waits for you to throw it and he'll like he'll stab gotcha. at you, stab at you, stab at you, keep you at that long range. As soon as you close the distance, he's gotcha. closing it. Yeah, hey, no, he's killing. He's, no, he's, he's closing it too. And damn. Yeah. That's why it's like him and Michael Chandler going against each other. That's punch on Michael Chandler. <laughs> he's about to beat you know, Michael Chandler. I'm happy. Ass. I'm happy he's doing this though, and not fighting someone else who's been active. Mm. Because you need like when you're coming back off that time, like we saw Kobe. He looked poo like poo. Part of that is because he I don't even know if he deserved it, and he took some shots. Leon did. Leon got it working. Yeah, but like that time off, like you need like especially a guy like Connor who. 
relies on his timing and his accuracy and his, you know, just being there, his he, activeness, his the chaos. Yeah. He thrives in the chaos. He looked trash and spawn, dude. Nah, he looked good. Look at G.I. Joe. I think he looked good. I think he looked good. He too damn big, though. I think he looked good. But I, think, I just think that the uh, combinations of Ilya Tapura would, would, like, would give him trouble. Because that's when <clears throat> Dustin Poirier started having uh, success. Yeah, he was kicking the legs. He was mixing it up. And then he also, in the second fight, when he started putting together like six, seven punch combinations, yeah. Connor was clinching. That's the whole reason why he was going to the ground and grappling. That is beside Connor's the, the one who shot. Not, what is he finna do to Michael? Michael Chandler. Chandler. What is Michael Chandler gonna do to, to Connor McGregor? That's what I'm asking. Nothing. I think he'll shoot. <laughs> He's damn sure shoot. He shot on Tony. He's gonna shoot on. He shot on Tony Connor. Ferguson. And dubbed barely. Barely won. <laughs> 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 barely, barely, but he dubbed. Tony's Damn, hard ass, stiff ass jab. He said, "When they fight?" June 29th. You don't need every every <laughs> every second to cut that weight. You think he's above two hundred right now? Bro, the size of his head fight night is about to be Bro. ridiculous. Nah, I don't know if he's above two hundred. That man's two hundred and thirty pounds. His bones got bigger. I don't know if he's ever going back down to fifty feet. Oh, I'm disgusting though. So Otherwise, he's gonna be cutting weight like every. So he was fight seventy five. Seventy, I think so. That's a brutal. <laughs> that's He's a brutal fight. That's Leon. A... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Because him, Michael Chandler. Chandler's going to have to fight. Dog, this ain't going to last long. After, <laughs> after Michael Chandler does what he's about to do. <laughs> to you McGregor, think Michael Chandler wins? He's going to put hands on Michael McGregor. Early, predi- early prediction, you think? He going to put hands on McGregor. You think Michael Chandler wins? I don't think he wins. I think he damn sure puts hands on him. They're going to scrap. They're going to fight it out. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to fight it out. they about to, they they about gonna, to fight no, out. And then whoever the next guy is, go have some juice. He's going to punch on McGregor. And that's when it's going to be over. Like, right but that's going to be McGregor after another fight in. I had a good run. If he wins, another fight in, say he snipes Michael Chandler. But you got to what if, okay, okay, what if he snipes him? Like he does, you know what the What if like, he looks like Tony Ferguson? What do we do then? Oh no, my favorite fighter is trash. But it, I mean, Tony Ferguson loses. So if he loses, then yeah, okay, we're gonna say what we say. But if he wins, that's that's oh, we back right back look, at it again. Look, right back, right at back, at it, back at it again. Right back at it again. Right. All right. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead and get it's the new year. We're heading into twenty twenty four. Man, it's gonna be man a, a giant year, and we're gonna get to what we're looking forward to most. But first, we gotta look back at the the twenty twenty three season. Um. In some promotions, season. At the end, we need to do our resolutions too. New Year, New Me. Uh, you know, I don't believe in New Year resolutions. You don't think so? I don't believe in those. I believe in just resolu- like like having new goals and not waiting till the New Year to do them. Whenever you see something's wrong, mm-hmm. do it. Whenever you see something's wrong, improve that part of your life. Be the best version of you. That's what I believe in. I don't believe in saying it at New Year's. All that is, is it just creates trends. Like, you about to see, you go to Crunch, right? You go yes. To, you about to see everyone in the gym. New Year. Big, big, thick people. New Year, know me, and then mm, give it about two, three months, everyone gonna fall off. Big, and three, then it's gonna be the regular people that you usually see. Except maybe some that stick around and some that also fall off. Yeah. <clears throat> That's how it's gonna be. No, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Every year I get older, I don't care about being healthy. Like, like, probably 35, 40, I'm gonna let it go. Beer gut. I don't give a damn. What do I need to look good for? Hey, man, yeah. you, your prospects might be watching. Who? Yeah, future prospect. Future prospect. <laughs> <laughs> that was your damn. I'm just, hey, I'll be smooth regardless. At 40? I'll be smooth. Beer what you, what you think your diet looks like at 40? Diet at 40? It's going to be atrocious. Pork rinds. I, never, I don't think I can ever see myself getting like that. Really? Because I'm going to be training. If, if you're training, I don't see how you get like that. Yeah. Nah, I'll be a fat ass. You can't. I'll be, no, because I, I had a good life. I had a good, I had a good run. I don't got I don't gotta prove shit to nobody. I don't gotta I'm just, at forty. Nothing. All right, nothing. That's good. Yeah, I'm just Hey, you know what's crazy? Yeah. You don't have shit to prove to nobody right now. Yeah. Um but let's yeah. get into this. All right. <laughs> twenty twenty three. It was a good year. Yeah. Oh, it was an amazing year. Man. We had some crazy shit go down. Too much. Um but something we gotta start with is the upset of the year. <laughs> upset of the year. The biggest upset, the the the, the biggest underdogs. The ones who pulled it out when you didn't think that they were gonna pull it out, right? Man, for our nominations, we got Drinkers Duplessis versus Rob Whitaker. Oh. That's the first one, and uh, yeah, I doubted him too. I doubted him too. I knew that it was gonna be a karate versus karate matchup. I knew that it was gonna be power versus finesse, and Rob. 
And I thought that Robert Whitaker would have to stay disciplined in that fight. I feel like he, he started to rush it because the pressure yep. got to him. Mm-hmm. And then the grappling exchanges weared on him. And He wanted to get him out of there. He wanted to get him out of there. Yeah, yeah. Let's Drigas, get this over with. Drigas is always trying to go for the finish, though. He's always trying to go for the finish, and that's what I feel like led to Rob getting tired and, and you know, the ground exchanges going the way they went. And Drigas pulled it out. Crazy, big underdog. Uh, I think he was like a minus, he was a plus 600. Plus. I think he was like a plus 600. Yeah. Underdog, which is crazy. Um, but for our second nomination, we got Sean O'Malley's knockout of Aljamain Sterling. Nah. Not many people thought he was going to win, man. Who? The Believers. Who thought who? The the Sugar Squad. Thought Everybody who. thought he was about to snipe, though. No. Everybody no, knew. No, 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 no. That's not true. That's not true, bro. You, you ask... You said that Aldo was going to win. I did. You said Aldo was going to win. Everybody had in the back of the head, though. If he stick that chin out, he going to bed. But it was if he gets a hold of him. That's true. If he gets a hold of him. And plus, because it was just so emphatic, like the way the fight was going, it was kind of like almost like underwhelming at first. That's true. And then just bang, it happens. And he's gone. He's just gone. What round was it? One punch, two. See, yeah, that's too, that nobody would have guessed that. There was like maybe two strikes thrown in the first round and the second round, bang. Yeah, bro. They never so, got the grapple. So they never even got the grapple. And this is Sean. He okay. Has I only fought one. one person in the top five, I need that right? One. I need that one. I need that one. Okay. I need that one. Next, and uh, everyone knows about this one. Sean Strickland beat Israel Desanya. That's the biggest. That, nobody gets that. A man that drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> a, 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 a blue collar, hard working man beat this technical big freak. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's much. You, I know you ain't guessed that. You know, I actually, I thought, I thought it would be a. You, hard, you said something about it. I thought it, I thought it would be a hard style matchup, and I think people forgot a little bit about him because of his loss to uh, Alex Pereira and because of his loss to uh, Jared Cannonier. I thought people were sleeping on him, but I always thought he had good defense. I always thought he framed very well. He yeah. he had very good use of his jab. And he methodically came forward, and that's that was kind of my assessment of him. And I was wanting him to get pushed towards that title before he fought Pereira. I don't know why he did that, but but uh, I was wanting him to get pushed towards that title because I wanted to see uh, how is he handled that. And uh, I knew it was gonna be a tough matchup, and I hated how everyone was just riding him out. I hated it. Being an Izzy fan, I'm just like now it's a lose lose. Now it's a lose lose because if he looks bad, he loses. If he win, even if he wins, even if he wins, it's gonna be like it's 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 Sean. He, exactly, he should. It's just Sean Strickland. Exactly, he should have took it. And then Sean Strickland, he won. Should have took it. No, dropped him. <laughs> was talking to him. Talking shit. Ish. That's crazy. Ish. So Sean Strickland versus Israel Design. and then last, mm. which mm. I a think barn burn compares to any of these. Alexa Grasso versus Valentina Shevchenko. I watched that at Bombshells. Screaming. Yeah, yeah nah, I was out, oh, bro, yelling. Crazy. Dead. I was yelling so bad, and I was waiting later to, to go ahead and uh, upload the, the reaction video <laughs> to find out there was no audio for that. Oh. And it was still one of my favorite reactions. <laughs> it no was still audio. one of my favorite reactions because you could just see, oh, hold on. She's Val- squabbing. Hold on, down the, wait, down the ground? Damn, this whole squabbing. Oh, bro, she okay. She Valentina's won. doing her thing, trying to get her inclusive. Oh, she's escaping. Wow. Oh, oh, she's punch. She's hitting back. Punishing. Hold on, Valentina shooting. Thirteen time Muay Thai world champion. Shooting. Shooting. Uh oh. Undefeated for how many years? Shooting. Cause she got wobble. You, I didn't remember that. She got ass hit. She got ass. Alexa yeah. switching, switching, yeah. switching. Nobody expected this. Nobody expected, it. except for the guru himself, me. Right. But uh, nobody, you didn't call it. nobody, nobody expected that she would give such a tough fight. I never expected she would win, though. Mm-hmm. I never expected she would win, and she ended up pulling it out. She choked the 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 piss out. The king. That was crazy, and uh, she got it done. Throughout all the odds. Now, uh, this is the will versus the way, so on, we man. gotta we gotta give our own opinions. Who's your take for upset of the year? Man, look at her so beautiful ass. Uh, <laughs> Hey, bro, that don't, that don't got huh? nothing to do with it, though. Oh, no, no, that got nothing to do with it. I just, you know. Uh, I'm between Sean Strickland and Alexis Grasso. I didn't expect that at all. But I'm probably going to go with Sean Strickland, the yeah. blue collar worker. Yeah, it's a dog. You coming up there with that big high frame, Izzy. I thought he was going to kick his head off. Just set him up. I thought he was just going to set him up quick and just kick it off. 
And that was actually the, and that you could see that that was the plan. And you just gonna kick it off. Yeah. Yeah. What well, we didn't, another thing we didn't plan for is Eric Nixon to to call out Izzy's game plan as he was doing it. Oh, he was he was saying when he's finished. He was saying he's setting you up for that kick. He about to kick your head off, dog. Yeah. He's setting you up for yeah. that kick. Don't get snake charmed. He kept his hands like, bro, you're not kicking my That's, head, bro. <laughs> bro, you're not kicking my head, dog. Man. And if he won the fight. Talk about one of the moments of the year. That was one of the moments of the no, year. No, yeah, because, bro, it changed his whole life. All that ish he was doing. Yeah, let him snake charm you. Don't let him snake you. Yeah. We're not about to win no boring ass decision. Bro, you did the same shit to me. I was just telling somebody that shit. I'm I'm sparring with you. And I went for the hezzy. Dog, I went for well when you go when you when you buckle with that hezzy, he got you. Yeah, Dog. That's, that's went, that's what it's for. I went, you like, okay, I said I know he I know he's blocking up. Yeah. I, I know he's blocking up. You threw that high kick, hit me so hard, bye. I forgot my name was Terrence. <laughs> I forgot my name was Terrence. Bro. He was sitting up the whole time, couldn't get off. No, but that's what fates are for to, to to open you gotcha. up. And the thing is, yeah. Sean Strickland didn't react to none of them. So none of them. That's why he ended up walking him down. That's why he got him. You you're choosing Sean Strickland's win over Israel Adesanya. Yes, right. I'm choosing Sean Strickland over everybody. And Alexa I'm choosing Grasso. and I'm choosing Alexa Grasso. I gotta go with Alexa Grasso yeah. because you know. Wait, wait, Sean Strickland deal was very impressive, and it was a, a big upset. Mm-hmm. Even if it wasn't as big of an upset to me, I think. That Alexa Grasso took out the the greatest women's flyweight of all time, um, arguably the greatest women's fighter of all time. Um, Amanda Nunes might have secured that one now, but <clears throat> oh my goodness, there ain't no. But way. I'm talking about 13 time women's world champion is ridiculous. Just getting the shoot over a, a minus a thousand, over minus a thousand for a favorite. I don't think you get much bigger than that, man. Of ever, I don't think you ever get much. You're bigger right than though, that. bro. You're and right. Then, You're right. Right. The Imagine way, and then the way yeah. she did it, the way she fought, like it was it was tooth and nail the whole time. Right. There was no point where, where where each either person was winning it clearly. It was a fight the whole time, and she ended up choking. Went on five, made a tap. It went on five, right? No, she made a tap and choked her out in the fourth round. And I'm about to say it went a little longer. Yeah, it went. They were squashed the fourth round. The, the last one went to the went to a draw. Bro, imagine Alex Pereira starting to shoot. What would you? What would you? It's like an Alex Pereira or Izzy starting to shoot. What are you doing? Which, but Valentina has a good ground game, which is why she's one of the greatest. Why she's done it to people before. Shooting? No, but I'm saying no. Why she shooting? I'm saying. Because but of like, Alexa you, you were You were a person that been in the wild, wild west, and you known for slinging your pistol. You known for pulling this out and shooting anybody in your way. But you see a dude <laughs> that make you pull out a knife? What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> pull out a knife and drop the gun. Pull out a knife and drop the gun. Together. Put the knife <laughs> Yeah, bro. I'm a better person than you. You know, I don't know, man. You say you're a better person. I'm a better person than you. Tonight, I am better than you. I'm better. I'm better. One win, win, loss, a draw. I'm a better human than you. And then she finished the fight. Then finished her. There you guys have it. Well versus the way upset of the year. Guys, let us know who you think in the comments down below. As we're going along this podcast, please feel free. Put your honors down and below. And uh, we're going to hash it out because uh, I know some of y'all bullshit. They gonna, they gonna get Alexa yeah, I know somebody else. They gonna, Alexa Grasso fight us. No, I think, I think people gonna have a problem with that. I think people really think Sean Strickland. He dug. He did. <laughs> I need to go. But, but you know, moving on, dumb. moving on to the fight of the year, 2023 yes, fight of the year. We're gonna start to move through these a little bit quicker. But and the first nomination we got mm-hmm. Brandon Moreno versus Alexandre Pantoja. It, it, it speaks for itself. It had the technique. It had the the story behind it. It had the uh, the fact that Brandon Moreno lost to him now three times. P- Alexander Pantosha finally, after so many fights, got his chance at the strap. After after so many fights, so many finishes, got his chance at the strap. Then we saw what he did later this year. Uh, it was a good story for him, and it was just all out fucking war. I mean, both of their faces faces were like changed after the fight. It was like. It, you remember the way Brandon Moreno's fit? He still hasn't fought yet. He's about to fight against uh, Albazi, but he's a fucker too. But that was a that was a scrap. That Brandon Moreno, I feel bad for him though. He really got to fight dog. Like dog. Every fight he's he been is in, a, he is a. It's because he is a dog. No, but no, 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 no. And that's the style he makes it. He rough, fight. rough. But the dudes he that he fight rough, rough too. Just like him. This is a lot of yeah. I mean, you know, at that highest level, man. You know how it goes. Number two, second nomination for the fight of the year: Islam Makhachev versus. Alexander Volkanovsky won. Won. That that was, you know what? I'm gonna just say it. That was my fight of the year. What? That was my fight of the year. 100. 
One hundred percent. But um, and and I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna talk more about it afterwards. But mm-hmm. Jared Cannonier versus Marvin Vittori is our third nomination. Uh, Jared Cannonier, man, that it was it was back and forth until it wasn't, and Jared Cannonier just kept piling it on. And Marvin Vittori, you we were just like, how the hell is he gonna? How is he gonna survive this? How's he gonna survive this? This is Jared Cannonier punching him in the first place. And and his hard ass head, he just wouldn't go to sleep. Wouldn't go. He wouldn't go to wouldn't sleep. Go. He was one of them. He was one of them who, who was willing. Yeah. He was willing to go. Be damn and, uh He didn't, thank God. Mm-hmm. But uh, he was willing. And then we got Jamal Hill versus Glover Teixeira. That's that mine. was another banger. That's mine. That was another banger. I was going to say you're saying it right now. Yeah. That's mine. That's mine. Man, because everyone counted out Jamal Hill. Everyone counted out. And if I could pick two, man, that would, that would also be it. Because everyone doubted him. He, uh, maybe what, it was like two, three wins in a row that he yep. had. Three wins in a row. They've seen him lose two recent, right? The Glover was in these big-ass fights. He really should have beat Yuri. He, he won, he's the oldest champion. The you world. know, he has all this hype. And he can grapple. We haven't seen Jamal Hill's grappling. Only time we saw his grappling is when he got subbed by Paul Craig, right? That's what people were thinking. Paul Craig, go. And he comes in there, and he, and he just dominates. Clears the board. Domination. Clears the board. Punched on Glover too. I had a ten eight round in there. Just yeah, what that man. At no point was Glover just up on the scoreboards. He was just scary hitting. sight. He, was, he shut everything down. That head <laughs> kick was nasty. Rob wobbled him at least four times during that fight, and he ended up getting the job done. So that's the pick for. That's the Will's pick for for fight of the year. T Will, T Will. I'm going Jamal Hill, bro. Yeah, I'm going Islam Volk, man. They, I don't think you could beat that. Nah, I don't think you could beat that. Nah. The the fact. Double champion versus double champion. Just the stakes. You got the stakes. Champ versus champ. Vote going for championship status. Double champ status, my bad. Mm. They get in there. Everyone thinks, oh, he's not going to take him down. He's not going to. Because that's what the thought was. You can't. That, that's what the thought was. Islam just going to take him down. He take him down. And he's going to do this, do that. Yeah. Uh, Australian wrestling, don't matter. Mm. Da, 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 da. But it didn't happen. It happened a little not, bit. Not like how we thought it was going to happen, though. No, nah, I thought it was gonna be bad. It didn't yeah. happen. They were striking. Yeah, they was throwing. They was throwing. They was hurting each other. Oh, that drop. Hit that one equal. <laughs> He's back, Ooh, right, back, right back, <laughs> right back, right back to scrapping. Right back to it. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he just coke. Damn. Close. Technical. Ooh. You saw so many, so like just the highest of levels in that. Fight. Oh yeah. And that's and that's why I gotta pick it because I'm mm-hmm. a I'm a fanatic for technique. I'm a fanatic for just breaking down each other's styles and these stories of these different martial arts and how they. Which one wins? Yeah. Type shit. Mm-hmm. And then the way it, like, Islam's, uh, has him in the body triangle, holding his back, not doing shit. Volk starts talking to him while, come on, bro. Like, you can't, I didn't, I, and another reason is like, you can't, you can't forget about it. You can't forget about these moments that happen at the beginning of the year. Because people almost forgot about it. Beginning of the year. Happened in February. Mm-hmm. You know, people, people, Forget about things. No, they didn't forget. They just remember his head wobbling, bobbling on the cage. In the second fight. With his eyes rolling back <laughs> in his head. Yeah, but that has to be my fight of the year. I, <laughs> it has to be my... <laughs> we ain't even gonna talk about that. That has to be my fight of the year. Moving on. <laughs> 2023, the Will vs. the Way knockout of the year. Oh, damn. Don't don't get me back on this. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Of the year. <laughs> don't you get me back on this. For our first nominee. <laughs> Josh Emmett versus Bryce Mitchell. Jesus Christ. Uh, that's self-explanatory. He walked into a bulldozer. God damn. He yeah. walked into more than just a bulldozer. Into a train. What's bigger than a train? First punch of the night. <laughs> that was, yeah. We. Easy versus Pereira for our number two. For our number two uh, uh, nominee. Easy versus Pereira. You talking about the little... The you don't little, remember that? It was mid, though. He didn't drop. It was mid. He didn't drop. Drive. We're talking about Izzy vs. Pereira 2. The first one. Oh, 2. Bah! Oh, you're talking about. Oh, bah! you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about. Oh. Oh. Bah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, what we, that's what we talking about. Look at that. We're talking. And then hold on, hold on. Oh, no, his oh, was no. his was cool because of the performance. Uh, and, the, and the comeback. The story. The story. Oh, the story. God. The fact that. But he looked like he was out of there. He looked like his legs were shot. Back up against the cage, Muhammad Ali, you George Foreman. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Come on, bro. You can't. You it was can't, a good one. It was a good one. You can't have a knockout of the no, year. No, the, the arrow. List. The arrow. The you arrow. can't have a knockout of the year list without putting that on there. I'm going to just say that. I'll flat. For our third nominee for knockout of the year, Damn. Justin Gaethje versus Dustin Poirier. Justin Gaethje versus Dustin Poirier. Yeah, it, damn. You know, who would have? Who would have ever thought? Fucking thought. Who would have thought that? You put hands. No, not put hands. Put leg. <laughs> he would put no, foot you know I mean, like, on Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier. Head kick. Nobody would have guessed that. Shit. Nobody's ever head kicked him. When has he get, gotten hit by a head kick? Ever. When is Justin Gaethje kick throwing his legs. a head kick? He doesn't throw kicks. <laughs> he throws leg kicks. Yeah, but not like but to not, the face. No, he, he'll throw them at your kneecaps, but he not. That's his thing, though. That's wild. That's his thing. And then slept. And this is the rematch after Dustin, you know, because he beat him the first time. Dang. He's going into this rematch, tie, almost like title. And then he might actually get the title shot over Justin Gaethje over, over, over Oliver. He might get the title shot. That's oh, what no. is. Islam wants it. Let them fight it out. Let them fight it out. <laughs> I'll pay money to watch that. Let them fight it out. You don't want to watch Oliver versus Islam too? No. You're trading, bro. That's no, you know what I think though, that's personally. The most exciting I'm sorry, thing. this is besides the point. I think Oliver is soft. And in this sport, I don't think you can You think he's soft. I think he's he looks soft. soft in that Darius fight. No, 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 no. He's a great fighter. Don't get it. No, no, no. In the Darius fight. I just think he's soft. I think I think he's soft, bro. I think he's soft. That's a bold statement, but I truly believe he's soft. You think soft. Dustin Poirier is soft? Bro. I think Charles Oliver is soft. Okay, but do you think Dustin Poirier is soft? Bro. <laughs> oh, oh, what a, I think you see what he soft. did, bro. I'm talking about if look, he if he meets somebody that's look that's a little bit better than him, dog. He gonna fold, bro. Shit happens. I don't watch this motherfucker. Then they cry in the ring. You said you said a little bit better than him. Charles Oliveira gonna fold. Bro. He will. Fold. I'm saying he will fold. You just gotta get him in that headspace. He'll do it though. Best believe he'll, he'll give up. He'll tap before before going out. He won't give up. You can't give up in this type of game. You just heard too many people say No, that. this is my opinion. This, this is, is your me. Opinion. When is he watch, Bro, Charles Oliveira is my, when is he my, first, when is he my first favorite fight. Like, he, I watched okay. this because of him. So when is he But quit? I've seen him quit. When? Bro, you remember that young one when something happened to his arm? It didn't happen to his arm. He tore his esophagus. Yeah, you know the shit you eat with? He's a pussy, bro. You can break him. Bleep that. He is a vagina. You can mentally break Charles Oliveira. Just remember I told you that. Just just remember I told you that. We will circle back to this. I mean, it's I, gonna show up on film. Best believe. It, it already has. I remember he how named, he fought Islam the first time? He named a time where he tore his. Throat. Did he look like he was? A, did he look like he was prepared the first fight with Islam? Did he look? Like and he plus, he was cutting too much weight. Did he look like he was prepared throwing jumping knees at Islam, getting punched in the chin? Did he look like he was ready? He looked like he was willing. It looked like he ain't had no pussy in him. When did he have pussy in him? When he, he hit his back. It, when he hit not, that back and did this, and the knees came up in the air. Oh, I'm not winning this. Oh, that that I, I guarantee that he got dropped. Why? Nigga was jumping in the air, throwing flying knees, missing. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, that has nothing to do about his heart, though. You can break Charles. All right, this moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Moving on. No, we go. No, he beat my ass. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. But I can't break That's him cool. though. I can't break that. Man. All right. Yeah. So, uh, last nominee for the, for knockout of the year. <laughs> I can't with this dude. Uh, Islam versus Volk too. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. that shit's sad. <laughs> it's not. A, it's like mm. it really like like it's crazy. No, and he hit the. No, but the way like he the, did it though, like nigga look like dead. Like, <laughs> nah, that was bad. Yeah, that was bad. bad. That's my favorite fighter. Yeah. Like one of them. Volk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You see him go out like that. Had to be. Had to be. Yeah. Damn. It was. It was a lot of mixed emotions. Um, I think it was a big knockout, but I think that the fact that it was on short notice, it lowers it. Look, his dog took it on 12 days. Yeah, it was, was short notice. He was fat and yeah. shit. Fat as dog. So, I think that that, that takes the luster off of it. But for oh. knockout a year, I think I got to go with uh, Josh Josh Anderson. Anderson. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. They ain't punching me to the ether. It was the first punch thrown of the night. So I think, was it the first punch thrown of the night? No, I think he's, he was throwing some punches or leg kicks and some shit. Bryce Mitchell wasn't throwing... But the one time Bryce Mitchell stopped and thought about throwing. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I hate laughing too because it was no, he, punched him, bro. he forgot how to breathe. You didn't hear me. Did I hear <laughs> he turned to a Stop. he turned to a pit bull after that. <laughs> that was bad, bro. <laughs> no, but I actually heard that it's good for you when you um like if you it's actually a good sign. Like if you get knocked out and you start seizing, 
It's actually a good thing. Oh no, it was great for him then, because he got the wiggling wobbling. Yeah, nah, cause it, <laughs> cause nah, cause it means that your brain is responding. Oh, like your brain's actually it's trying, still on. It's trying to keep you. <laughs> that was still on. I thought he turned his lights off. <laughs> I thought he hit the switch on. Josh Jimmy hit the switch on. Uh, yeah. Bryce Mitchell had. Uh, the real, real scary ones are when they're not moving. Uh, like Vogue. No, he was moving. I didn't see a nigga pupils no more. Excuse my language. I didn't see his eyeballs no more. They rolled in the back of his head while he was getting hit. Oh, damn. That was, them two was pretty bad. Not like uh, Michael Johnson. That one was scary. You remember when he got folded up? Didn't even like this? Yeah. yeah. That was scary. That was scary. Um, you know the reason why we probably don't say Vogue so bad because when he he got hit a couple times, Josh Emmett punched this motherfucker one one thunder punch and he never <laughs> never woke up. Like they had to they had to call the other fight back, push that one back fifteen minutes. We need a moment. Need the ambulance. Somebody help this man. Bryce Mitchell can't breathe. <laughs> no. Nah, yes. Yeah. So that I think that's unanimous. Yeah. Not gonna hear. Yeah. All right. Uh, moving on. Yeah, we got to move a little quicker through these because. Yeah. <clears throat> but submission of the year. Submission of the year. We got again oh, Alexa yeah. Grasso versus Valentina Shevchenko. It has to be named the just purely on the importance of it. The Mama Blackshear versus Jose Johnson. His twister. Yep. You, oh, you damn. don't ever see it. I think it was like one of three. Mm-hmm. And I think he has two of them. Um, damn. Yeah, the Mama Blackshear is in the end. Okay. Oh no, no no. Bryce Mitchell has one. Korean Zombie has one. And he has one. Okay. Korean, one of yeah. three. But either way, you never see twisters. You mm-hmm. never see twisters, and he, and he did it to Jose Johnson, who's not a bad fighter. Jose Johnson's actually out of fury, good fighter. Um, and I think was it on short notice? I don't know. No, yeah, I know. But Jose but do. but he twisted him up crazy. Davy Grant's inverted triangle against Rafael Sunsau. Rafael Sunsau is a good black belt too. He's always been known for his jujitsu. Um, and then Davy Grant, he's been known for his switch hitting style, his striking, inverted triangle. Put him to sleep. Mm. Put him to sleep. He didn't want this that. wasn't a joint line. He, it put him with an inverted drop. I'm, I'm a fan of that. Triangles get you out quick, though. You don't know. Yeah, yeah you'll... I'll be fighting. I should tap. Pass out. You're gone. What the you wake it up. You wake it up. Like, damn. That, that, shit was, that shit was... I, I went to sleep. Throw that hip in, you're gone. Yeah. 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 And then... Brandon Allen's submission over Andre Muniz. This is Andre Muniz. That was, who was crazy. Yeah, because he's a submission artist himself. Yeah, he was coming off like a submission against uh, <clears throat> Jacare Souza, yeah. who's an all-time great in grappling. Mm. So you you submit Andre Muniz. You got to be on the list. But for my pick for submission of the year, the way everything needs to go with this, this list, I think, you know, I'm, I'm taking uh, David Grant. I'm taking David Grant. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he's you like triangles though. It, it, it has, I'm you, a fan. Yeah, I'm a fan. no, I'm you fan. like triangles I'm though, fan. bro. I'm a fan of triangles, yeah. but it, it wasn't just a triangle. Like I could have went with with Yair Rodriguez if I if I wanted that. That's true. This was this was an inverted triangle. You never see that inverted. You never see that in. You barely see that in jujitsu. You, you never see that in MMA. An inverted triangle. I can't even name the last time I seen an inverted triangle in MMA. I gotta go with that. Twister was would have been a close that's second mine. for me. That's yours. That's mine. Twister, Twister. That's on that's national mine. television. Uh, uh, dude, like, how, you up, how is he on this dude? Like, like so. He's not even on his back. No, he's really like solid. He's on his rib cage. Not he's like hurting this man. No, it's fine. That's a spine. Yeah, no, that's weird. No, yeah, I, that, I, I've never seen that. You like choosing the Mont Black shit. Yeah, yeah. Twister submission of the year. Yeah. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, most promising oh, female know. prospect. The next category. Two of them. That we're going on to. Huh? I got two of them. You know, two I got, of them. no, I got two. Do of them. you know all of them though? Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. So for our, our nominees, <laughs> we got Natalia Silva. One hundred percent. We have Karini Silva. Oh my goodness. The Silvas, man. God, they damn. dominant. What's going on? They this big. They, they dominant. Got, nah, Karini's big, big. No, the other one though. Natalia though, she ain't nothing but five foot. And smacking on girls. Murder. Knockout. Submission. Smacking on girls. Crazy. Karini Silva. Submission specialist. She monster. Having nasty. Remember that nasty knee bar? Or heel hook Mm -hmm. type. Conceptual heel hook. That are broke down. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Uh, Lupi Gardinez. In straw weight. Now she's not new to the UFC. But. She. Definitely. A promising female prospect. um, Rising through the ranks. Mm -hmm. I think she's ranked what? 10 now? Mm Mm-hmm. But she wasn't even ranked top 20 at the beginning of the year. I think she had herself four wins. Um, and 
over some promising girls. I mean, she beat, uh, who was it, Tabitha Ricci? Yeah. She just beat Tabitha Ricci. Little got the end. And the way she handled Elise Reed, that was, because Elise Reed is good. Yeah. Elise Reed, that girl, she could strike. She could throw. And she, she just, she like beat Loopy, her. Loopy good. Loopy just threw her around. Rag Loopy daughter. Good. Rag daughter. That was one of the Loopy's most good. dominant performances I saw out of a female, too. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> And then we have Tr- Miss Tracy. Miss Tracy. Tracy. Tracy Cortez. Miss Tracy. She Tracy Cortez. She got a couple wins this year. She, she is. Hey, I think, you know, she doesn't, she's not in a relationship no more. She's free. Really? That's how, fi- you know. I know. That's how they, <laughs> I know. I know. That's how they get going, you know. Wow. And she coming off of a few, I think she's on like a five fight. She, she broke up with a boyfriend? Brian and Tracy, yeah. They split. Yeah, they been split, bro. You see them pictures with Paula Cosby? Look, Paulo Costa. Uh, no, he's a snake. Nah, nah, I don't think. I think Paulo has a wife or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. I don't think they. No, Miss Tracy gone. He better not go back. She gone. Yeah, but she. She gone. She's, she's a monster, another bro. promising prospect. For your, we're gonna go with you first this time. Okay. Who's your winner for Bruh, most promising I, female prospect? I love Natalia Silva. I love the way she fight. I love the way she she carries herself. She nice and shit, and she whoop. Do you think, so out of all of these, you think she might be the one to, to reach that title first? Tracy Cortez. <clears throat> nah. Tracy Cortez, she just beat who? Who was her last one? I got top two. I got Natalia and Loopy. Loopy is a brutal person. <laughs> She's very brutal. She like, is. And these, uh, yeah, she'll, she'll bust your ass. <laughs> she'll hurt you. Yeah, no, nah, she gon' no. Nah, she she still coming. You bust her, she. She known for her. She's still yeah, coming bro. for it. That's scary, bro. What I told you about that mental, mental, that, they, that, they don't play the game. She's down in Strawway, it's dangerous. Because she looks big for Strawway. Them two, them two. Natalia Silva is... Can't pick two, though. You got one. Natalia. Natalia Silva. She's all around. That's mine. She's all around. Natalia Silva. I mean, close second for me was Karini Silva because they mm. just both been running through girls. They running through. And Karini Silva just coming off of that win against someone who beat her back at the local scene. Stiff. Who actually submitted her back at the local scene. Stiff. Came back, took her down. Walked that ass. Girl was a good striker mm-hmm. and, a, and a good grappler, and still submitted her with ease. Dominant, dominant performance. Uh, but I'm gonna have to go with Natalia Silva, yeah, because I feel like she's shown more. Mm. I feel like she's shown more. I think that Creed Silva, Variety. I haven't seen enough of her striking. Yeah, her grappling is world class. We all know that. Oh, Leg yeah. locks, chokes, oh, arm man. bars, all of it. She's high level on the ground. Creed, I mean, uh, Natalia Silva is great on the ground. She can get back to her feet. She can. Uh, defend against good grapplers and she good wrestlers, her, and she great footwork, and she could throw. She can throw. And she has power. It's she has little. power, and she could kick. Type one, don't black belt. I ain't gonna lie. I think she's just very, very promising. She's coming up. Very promising. Natalia Silva she wins moments, bro. both of our, I guess, the unanimous <clears throat> most promising female prospect of the year. Moving on to the most promising male prospect of the year, we got for our nominees. <clears throat> and I'm going to just say I'm straight. We got BSD, Benoit Saint-Denis. We got Ian Gary. <laughs> Ian the future Gary. Yeah, Ian we got... Cook. Okay. We got... <laughs> we got Diego Lopez. Diego <clears throat> Lopez. Who, Fury. Who stormed into the... He did fight in Fury. Fury. In our very own Houston promotion. Yes, sir. He stormed onto the scene, taking on Evlo F, short notice, top 10 fight right away. No, he lost. He lost, but he was close to finishing it multiple times. Took it on short notice. His jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu is world class. jiu-jitsu is amazing. He just beat up Pat Sabatini on him. Mm-hmm. Right? Or he dropped him, actually. No, he knocked him out. He got to get his hands right. No. Diego Lopez has he has good striking. It could get better. It could. His chin. He tall. Yeah, he stands tall. But it's because he, he likes to kick. He doesn't care he if throw. people take him down. Because you he... saw, what's his name, trying to take him oh, down? Oh, he don't care. He got submitted. Oh, yeah, don't, don't do that shit. Yeah, no. He's yeah, submitting no. good grapplers. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. Diego Lopez is our third nominee. And number four, Muhammad Makai. Yeah, he went. You think so? Brutal fucker. Excuse my language one more time. Brutal. You think he's the most promising out of all of them? Hell yeah. BSD, Benoit Saint Denis. He and Gary, we just stop talking about him. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking Gary. <laughs> Somebody gonna dispose. <laughs> somebody gonna dispose of his ass soon. I'm not. Yeah. Ian Gary. Nah. The way he, he, I don't like the way he fights. Right, right, right. I really. You don't, don't like the way he fights. His style. I just don't like it. You like what he did to Neil Magny. That's what you don't like. You like. I don't. I don't like Neil. I don't Neil Magny either. 
talking about Neil Mack. No, I just don't like the way he fight, bro. I don't. But you gotta admit he has skill and he's promising. And his weight class too, he'll fuck over people. He's a seventy. He's seventy guy. Yeah, he'll fuck over some people. So you gotta admit he's he's a problem. He's a problem. Oh, he's a problem. Oh, I just don't like his style. BSD he submitted Gabriel Bonfim, which <laughs> which or Ishmael Bonfim. Ishmael. Ishmael. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the one who beat McKinney, yeah. who was on a hot run, good grappling, <laughs> submitted him in a body drop. His he first off his grappling is very high level, and he's gonna throw too, and he's gonna throw and he's gonna be an exciting fight. And people, the reason people can put on an exciting performance, and I'm just going to say this before I choose who I'm going to choose, but <clears throat> the reason people can put on an exciting performance and be on a on a win streak is because they're so confident uh, in mm-hmm. each art, martial art. Ilya Topuria, he's so confident in each martial art that he can just, he, he doesn't care. You take him down, that's cool. He, he might take you down, or he'll he's going to so scrap good. with you. Yeah. He's gonna scrap with you too. So, but for most promising male prospect of the year, I'm gonna have to go with Muhammad Makayev. I'm gonna have to go with Muhammad yeah. Makayev. Yeah, I think he showed showed too much. I think he showed. Too much. I think he's making his way up. He has. He already has the high goals. He wants to be the youngest champion ever. He. You remember when he was caught in that submission? Didn't tap. Just let it. Let break. it. Let it go. Let it break. It's whatever. Um. And then, but he didn't. But he didn't rely on the decision. The fact that he was winning the fight or something like that. Like it's not like, oh, he got me, but I'm just not gonna tap because I'm winning the decision. He comes back and finishes him. <laughs> yeah, dog. That's championship shit. That's a scary guy. Any young. That's championship yeah, shit. Running, running. I think Muhammad Makayev. He's maybe even the most well-rounded out of all these guys too. That sounds like some John John. I think he's the most promising male prospect. I'm with you. you I'm with you. I'm with you. Unanimous, yeah. unanimous mo- most promising. Damn. And we move on to female fighter of the year. Female fighter of the year between Alexa Grasso and uh, Aaron Blanchfield. Stamp Fairtex out of one championship. And Larissa Pacheco out of the PFL. Larissa Pacheco, this is now her second time winning the, the PFL championship, which is the hardest. It is the hardest thing to do, bro. I think MMA, that PFL, you have to fight five times a year. Five times. It's a lot of damn training camps. It's a lot of training camps. And then coming off, she didn't beat Kayla Harrison in 2023. That was in 2022. But coming off that win and then going undefeated to win the chip again, mm. I think that's very impressive. And there's no way we couldn't put her in here. Stan Fairtex, three-sport world champion, Muay Thai, Kate Bison, MMA. I, that's all we need to say. Erin uh, Blanchfield, she beat arguably... Or she beat a former champion in uh, in Jessica Andrade, waxed her lyrically, and and then <laughs> and then and then beat uh, Tyler Santos, yeah. someone who had razor thin fight with with mm-hmm. Valentina Shevchenko. A lot of people thought she won that fight, or that she could have won that fight had it not been for that headbutt. Yeah, and so she has to be on this list. Alexa Grasso defended her belt. Uh, she won the belt against Valentina. Defended it against Valentina again. She has to be in there for your female fighter of the year. Who you got? Shevchenko is a motherfucker, bro. Shevchenko is. She is a mother- She can fight some dudes. She can not fight some dudes. She beat up. She beat up a dude. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That's a female beat up a dude. Like same size. No her, dude. She beat up her a dude. cyborg and Amanda. Those are the ones. She beat up a dude. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, damn, Fair Text got. Me. She's a monster. Damn. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, Alexa. Alexa Grasso. I'm gonna go. Alexa. That's not a bad choice. That's not a bad choice. I'm gonna go Alexa. Yeah. One um, and defended. That that's a that's a feat. <laughs> with two fights a year. That's that's average championship that's championship a class. That's and a feat. and she defeated the greatest twice. I'm a better human than you. I think though that something that might be more monumental than that mm. is Stanford Tex. Ah yeah. <laughs> Coming, just coming from, just coming from her Muay Thai background, how she, mm-hmm. I, I don't even got to say it, bro. The yeah. way she grew up as a child, like, she didn't even know, she barely knew her parents because she was raised in the gym. Just squabble. Right? As a girl who, it's really not accepted for them to fight in Thailand, coming up through all that, coming up through all that to become Muay Thai world champion, kickboxing world champion. And MMA world champion, which means you got to put the grappling together. And she was throwing up submissions in that fight, super patient, not rushing anything. The fight before, um, she had two fights this year in MMA. Uh, and I think 
one or two in the striking, like defending her chip, securing chips. Secure. I think I think she is has to be has to be the female fighter of the year. Alexa Garso is a Man. close second. Um, yeah, but Stanford Texas is not a female fighter of the year. For male fighter of the years, our nominees are both. Oh, Alex Pereira, huh. Sean Strickland, a man, Islam Makachev, because he has to be in there. He got to be in there. He's got to be yeah. in there. And Leon Edwards, Leon Rocky Damn. Edwards. We're about to pick two. Forgot about him. <laughs> we about to pick two because they done had some huh? performances, though. Leon Edwards. Uh, he didn't, he didn't, he's he's the best he beat, right now. He beat Kamaru Uzman. He's the best he right now. Kobe Covington. The best. Islam Makachev beat Volk twice. Mm-hmm. Arguably, kind of, kind of lost that that first one, but the the second one was the, yeah, yeah. There ain't no argument about that. No argument, right? Um, just the fact that Folk was on short notice. Alex Pereira, he lost earlier this year, but it came back. He changed the game. A weight class up to be Jan Blavich and uh, Yuri Prashka. Do you remember when the UFC got him? I know. I want you to remember this. Remember? Yeah, I remember because oh, you see, was talking my ear off. They got somebody to beat Izzy. Thanks, I ain't gonna lie. Izzy got someone to beat Izzy. But Izzy's the one who called him out, bro, brought him into the UFC, bro, Izzy, brought him into the top Izzy five, brought was him so into good. the... Izzy was so good. They had to find somebody to beat him. From his past. <laughs> no, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. And then not only did he beat him, he went up and beat other people. Way of high calibers. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, dog. Two former champs? I think I'm gonna give it... I would give it to Alex Pereira because he did it so fast. He just did it just out of the... What the... Who so is you this think dude? his... his, his, his so nobody else on this list lost during this year. Yeah, but he did lose, yes. Nobody lost during this yeah. year. But you think his wins over Jan Blavich and Yuri Prohashka. Damn. You think that they... they and Izzy? No, oh, that's... Damn. No, no. He didn't beat Izzy this year. He beat him last year. Oh, okay. So you're not going to add that. Yeah, no, he got... You know. <laughs> I said you know. Oh, I got to do it. No, bro, but I think I... Oh, no. I'm going Leon. Nail fighter to you. Leon. You got Leon. Leon. It's not a bad pick. No, Leon. It's not a bad pick. He yeah. the pound for pound number one uh, in the rematch to to kind of, you know, flip over yeah, a no. new era yeah, in yeah. a way in the welterweight division. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> beat Kamar Usman for the second time. Yeah. In dominant fashion. God damn. And then beat Kobe Covington, who was kind of like the, the next up. The next up. Dana kind of set his, his legacy up. I'm Dana won him to lose. No, Dana set his legacy up. You talking about Leon? Yes. But he got people that he thought they could beat his ass, though. Kamara was yeah. a fucker. Yeah. Did we forget what I he mean, used to do to people? I mean, you got to, but I feel like after that second Kamara one, it was kind of undeniable. And then it's like, he Kobe, made me the best. Now, now you bring in Kamara number two. Who could be Leon? B-side Kamara. Who could be? Who? Islam? Maybe Shafka. Maybe. Maybe. Islam? I don't think Islam. Islam? Too. I think, I think Leon would, would, be, would be Islam. He just fought too many people similar to him. But oh, yeah. For yeah. my male fighter of the year, I'm going to have to go with Sean Strickland, bro. I'm about to go. Huh? I don't think it's a bold take because I think that one, he had the same amount of fights as as Alex Pereira, but he was undefeated. Now, did he fight the caliber of people Alex Pereira fought? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe because yeah, yeah. he took the short notice fight with Nazardine Imovov. Murderer. 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 Trains out of Cyril Gonzalez. Walking camp. murderer. He's a murderer. Okay. Yeah. Short notice, up a weight class. Damn. Fought him like he was in a bar and beat it. Beat that ass. <laughs> no, that's beat how you, him up. You got to make it like Five that. Rounds. Then he went to go fight a boost who was literally the the runner-up in PFL. Damn. On this tournament on the planet. I think he was runner-up twice in a row. Killer. Or something like that. Killer Yeah, came to the UFC and immediately got a Sean Strickland fight. They tried to do what they did with Alex Pereira with him. Yep, they tried to do that shit. beat him up. Made him quit. And then he goes and has the biggest, one of the biggest upsets of all time. If I didn't give him upset of the year, I gotta give him. It's probably the biggest upset of all. I gotta, I got the universe. No, it's not. That's still Matt Sarah GSP, unfortunately. Oh, oh. But I wasn't there at that time. Yeah, yeah you weren't. I wasn't a fan. The casual. Weren't. Yeah. Then I'll say it's Alexa Grasso versus Valentine. Yeah. Okay. But then beats Israel Desanya. I think he secures it. I think he secures it. He's my male fighter of the year. I gotta give it to him. And moving on to MMA performance of the year. Listen off the nominees. First, we got Ilya Topuria versus Josh Emmett. Mm. 
we all know five rounds of, of, of domination. Murder, murder. Sean Strickland versus Izzy because while it was an upset, it was also dominant. I think maybe maybe Izzy would have gotten or in the second round. I think mean, maybe he got the second round. So that was an amazing performance, and especially who he did it to, Israel the same. Yeah. Then we got Jamal Hill versus Glover Teixeira. Yeah, Glover was like seven years younger, maybe. Just an old guy. But Glover was the best, though. He's an old best guy, but he really outperformed the wrong time. Yuri Pahashka. I just think it's the wrong time. I mean, the right time was when he fought John Jones. but That, that was so live. Honestly, no. He got into the to the UFC past his prom. Glover really, his prom was left in Brazil. Because he couldn't okay. come to the U.S. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just they, wrong they, time. They were trying to get him into the UFC. But if, regardless of that, he this is when he won the belt. This is yeah. when he was having his reign. This mm-hmm. is when he was probably the highest touted in his whole career. Yeah. So, I still think Jamal Hill versus his performance over Glover to share was insane. And then we got Jared Cannonier versus Marvin Vittori. That was what? Not on the same kingdom. <laughs> yeah, it's not a championship. They threw though. It's not a championship. It was in there. It was in there. It was in there. This is performance of the year. He landed the most significant strikes in history. He hit in history. He was hitting. What's up, with Jerry Carey, dog? <laughs> he changed his style too. He's just like he's just not there. He's like just not. He's there. He's just. It's like it's this much. Now I don't know what he got to change. His, no, he's getting better. Cause he's he got like, bricks. He got bricks on there. Yeah, you think his weight class? No, I think he's getting better, bro. He's just getting better. He lost to Izzy, yeah. I mean, it was Big his first shot the title. Bro, I think, and he, bro, he beat, has a win over the current champ in Sean Strickland. He has a win? And I think he could beat Duke Rodriguez. Because he he, they have the same type. Yeah. yeah, he should low-key be getting the next title shot, but I just don't know when Izzy's coming back. But He's hurt. for male, or for uh, MMA performance of the year, yeah. my pick, I'm going with Jamal Hill. Sure. What the? I got you. Jamal Hill over there. She won every round. Had a 10-8 okay. in there. Okay. It was what? There was, I think, two on two judges' scorecards, it was 50-44. You got two for him, then? I no, no I got one for him. One for Yeah, you, you, oh, okay. you said that. I'm going Sean. I did not expect that, man. Over I thought he was going to kick his head off. I kept telling people that, bro. <laughs> he going to kick his head off. The way he's standing up. Like he going to kick it off. And he did. No, it messed me up. That messed me up. It's like Izzy was just like, just, I don't know. He made Izzy look like that, though. You think so? He made him look like I mean, Izzy probably underestimated him. We know he had that DUI or whatever, and we know that uh, he was coming off those two emotional-ass fights with Alex Pereira. That's emotional. I That's think he just had to get his duffy. He was drained. Getting his bad. I think he was just trying Mentally. to be too active. But Mentally. yeah. he did what he did, so you yeah. can, we'll I have no arguments with that. I got Jamal <clears throat> Hill over Glover Teixeira. You got Sean Strickland over Izzy. Let us know who you got in the comments down below. But now, for the most controversial moment of the year, we got the Jalen Turner versus Bobby Green stoppage. One of the worst stoppages of all time. <laughs> one of the worst stoppages of all time. <laughs> we, got, we got Islam versus Volk one decision mm-hmm. because many people thought Volk won that fight. We have Francis Ngannou versus Tyson Fury. Funny as hell. Because the whole... The whole situation with him leaving the UFC was kind of controversial. Them making the whole John Jones and like not John Jones not fighting him, but still being the heavyweight champion of the world, mm-hmm. um, that whole fiasco. And then Ngannou going to the PFL, but then he's fighting in boxing. He's fighting the pound for pound one of the best boxers on the planet, the Tyson Fury, heavyweight king, and beats him. They didn't give it to him, but he, he beat, what? beats Tyson Fury. Who? Look, friends is gonna win. <laughs> no. Friends gotta win that fight. Okay. They can rig whatever they want to rig, uh, but the people know. Who the people? He's the people's champ. Lineal combat sports heavyweight champion. Really? That's what it is. Anyways, <laughs> and then we then this is why it's controversial because you people like you. <laughs> <laughs> you said what? You said you won? Okay, keep going. Keep going. And then the lastly, but I don't think least. Kobe versus Leon situation. The fact that he got the title shot in yeah. the first place coming off of what? I think it was two wins. Yeah. Two Coming off of two wins or maybe three wins, but all against people who were coming off of losses. Mm-hmm. The Maverall, the Woodley, the... the uh, uh, Woodley. Who else? Who else did he fight? Bobby Lawler? I think it was two wins. 
It was longer, I believe. Yeah, but two wins in a row. There we go, Cooper Cup. Um, yeah, <laughs> hey, two <laughs> two wins in a row. Except Shay Cup. Yeah. And then, and then had to. Yeah, and then the whole shit with his father and the whole. What the hell is that? Why and, the, we and, then, about and then the whole performance and it's like. Kept calm. Yes. No, no, no. The whole performance from Kobe it was just like it was all just staged, controversial. That's his game plan. The whole shit was controversial. So we have our nominees: Bobby Green stoppage, is on vocal one decision, Francis and Gano Tyson Fury, mm-hmm. or Kobe Covington Leon Edwards situation. What is your controversial moment? Controversial. Right You'll never talk about nobody dead nothing. That's that's death words. Yeah. That's kill words. I mean, we on TV. You say this shit, man, you don't got no one. I'm going to stomp you out, bro. So, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Kobe versus Leon. Kobe. Shout out to Leon for being a man and realizing this man that has nothing to do with you, dog. Yeah, that yeah. idiot. <laughs> that idiot that you whooped. Amen to that, dog. Fashion. It's like he knew. That's why he was like, you fashion. know what? I think, though, that we wouldn't be doing justice to the world of combat sports, though, if we didn't Francis. name Francis and God the most confident. They robbed, they robbed this. <laughs> you have to. Yep. It's only justified. They robbed this man in front of the whole world. What do you think they've been for for years? No, look, it is what it is. Look, the mob exists. You know that, right? In Saudi Arabia? It don't matter. It, yeah, but the fact that it was ran by like the European Convention or some shit like that, the the fact that it boxing wasn't just the, a standard boxing commission. You don't play with that type of money, bro. Look, man. Uh, you yeah. don't play with that shit? Yeah, that Usyk Tyson money. If he beats this man, do you understand how many people won't lose he, millions of dollars? And then the fact that he drops him. I mean, that was crazy. Tyson Fury didn't know where he was, bro. The whole fight. Remember from the since, for instance, the first punch, he ate, when he ate that left hook, <laughs> I think his shit was sweet. Try to come in there and bully him. Ate that left punch, started rubbing his eye. I think he broke his orbital, bro. Real shit. And that's why he looked off. And then the way he was getting slung around in the ropes trying to clinch and shit, big ass. Oh, he clinched with it. <laughs> Fighting in the cage. Big ass. What are we doing? Slung in the ropes, <laughs> bouncing off. Look at adjusting his belt. That's a bad matchup. That's a bad matchup. The way, bro, Francis, I think he wins controversial moment of the year. And then the whole, he is the baddest man on the planet. Hell no. No doubt about it. Hell, Who's beating him up? John Jones beat the fuck out of Francis. Oh my God, I just wish I prayed and I wish I went to sleep at night and talked to Jesus and it never happened. John Jones whooped John, that ass. John Jones would never fight Francis. John, they used to say that shit. John Jones is not the heavyweight champion. Anymore. Bro, everybody we thought was a killer, they gave them to John Jones. Uh-huh. And he's a great fighter. He's the greatest. I can't Maybe. imagine He may be even the greatest. I think Demetrius Johnson, but he may even be the greatest. Go ahead, John. <laughs> Anyways, John Jones killed all the killers. And for Sony Francis, heavyweight, big niggas. I, they, they never. It's over. John Jones done. He beat Tyson Fury. He beat Steve Miocic, the greatest. What is John? He beat doing Cyril right? Gone with John? two blown out knees. Is John coming back? Is it over? He's gonna come back. You think? But so? he's not gonna fight Francis. No, it's over. Moving on. Yeah. And so. now we get to the phone ones. In my opinion, we, we're moving on to the last two categories, guys. If you've been with us for this long, thank you. And uh, God bless you guys and bless everything for supporting this podcast. Amen. Um, we're going to have plenty of ways for you guys to actually like support us and interact with the podcast coming in the new year. We have amazing guests coming in the new year Uh-oh. as well. I mean, I'm talking, it, just to give you a little hint, we're talking about Houston Zone. We're talking about bare knuckle heavyweight boxers. Scrapping in a motherfucking triangle. If y'all know who it is by now, then we ain't even gonna say the name. But we got crazy guests coming Stiff. on the podcast. Ah, oh, goddamn! I can't wait for that. Stiff. I, just, I just hyped myself up. Stiff. I just hyped it up, bro. Oh goddamn! But yeah, we got crazy guests coming on the podcast. The world versus the world. we're gonna we're gonna be the one of the fastest rising in my opinion MMA podcast. There's not many people doing it, so one of the fastest rising MMA podcasts in the world and. uh we're, we're just happy to be here. We're happy to have you guys, a uh, good community, supporting us. So That's thank right. you guys for supporting us. And as we move on to these next two categories, something that I think you guys could take a lot from, Striker of the Year. We get a little first on you. It's a, it's a martial art podcast. It's it not, is. It's not yes, just so. MMA that we talk about. Striker of the Year. We got our list. Coming in in first for our nominee, Bud Crawford. Mm. Terrence Crawford. Becomes undisputed in two weight classes. He beats Errol, oh. Errol Spence, who is 
almost the the undisputed champ in the welterweight. He, Terence Crawford didn't start off at this weight, right? Came and just the fact that it Dominated. was dominant fashion. We've in our era, he's the first two two weight class undisputed champ. Like we're in the four belt era, it's monumental. The next nominee, Nagoya. I believe this is how you pronounce it, Nagoya in a way. He also became undisputed in two weight classes, except he's finishing everybody. Bud finishes everybody, but he had two finishes this year. We got to name him coming in <clears throat> for our nominee for Striker of the Year. These mm-hmm. are two boxes. Now we're moving into kickboxing with Chingis Alazov mm-hmm. knocking out Superbon in one championship Whoa. after winning the Grand Prix against Sitachai. He knocks out Superbon and then comes back to beat someone who has wins over him in the past, Morocco Gregorian, one of the best strikers on the planet, and beats him in dominant fashion. I mean, if you go and look at this guy, if you go and look at this guy and his, and his striking, you wouldn't even want to watch MMA anymore. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. I watch one championship every week, and it, I think Chingiz Alizal was the one who really got me into it. So go please check him out if you have not seen him before. Uh, but striker of the year, he's our third nominee. Fourth nominee, Superlek Kilmo Nine. I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but that's how it's spelled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> his win over Rod Tan. Everybody know him. That's that was the biggest Muay Thai fight of gen- from generations to come. Mm. Um, it, that, that's indescribable. But he beat a uh, Daniel Puertas. He, I mean, he's had two wins in kickboxing. I think three wins in um, Muay Thai. He beat yeah. Daniel Williams as well, another world class striker. He's had four to five wins. Most of them coming by finish in this year. And he so beat Rod Tang, Jim Mun Young. And had 700 fights in his life. And he has just about the same. So, yeah. No, no, I'm saying that was a legendary monk on monk type. And he, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch it live. It's, I don't think you have to really explain so much. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. This guy, <laughs> yeah, this I mean, guy yeah. fighting the kickboxing, and fighting him one time. Two sport. He's about to fight. He might be fighting. Um, who's it? He's older too. Oh no, he is the kick. Is he the kickboxing world champion? Yeah. No, no he's not the kickboxing world champion. Muay Thai. Who else could he fight though? Because there's only a couple more like. Yeah, I don't know who to. There's kickboxing. only a couple more like world renowned. Man, yeah, I think he's he might be pound for pound right now. You don't think him or be? him or Taiwan Chai is pound for pound, and that's moving into our next nominee, Taiwan Chai. What's that white dude? What's that white dude do Muay Thai one? He's cold. Jonathan Haggerty. I have he now Cause he can't, he's coming back it could be an honorable mention no he beat Nongo which is an uh, incredible feat in its own he was getting hit too he no he yeah he smacked he Nongo. was getting hit too no he Nongo. was beating up bro he got yeah. he got hit nah not really bro it was dominant fashion which is why he would be considered and he beat the MMA world champion in striking oh. but I think it was because like Fabrizio Andrade was just not on that level I think he wasn't on that level. And I think he, he could be an honorable mention, Jonathan. Yeah, honorable mention. But we got to name Tywin Chai after beating Superbond, after beating wow. the, all the guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, all, the, you, guys, all the names. All the guys, <laughs> all all the the guys he beat. And the fact that he's kicking through people's bones and breaking people's femurs and, and, and breaking people's arms. and He got the gems. It's between these five amazing fighters. Um, but for striker of the year, for my striker of the year, I got to go with Superlet, Kim on nine. This man... It's just it's just self explanatory. One of the biggest fighters is good. Yes, he missed weight. Mm. But fuck all that shit. I've, yeah. I've stood next to him. He is. He's a 125er. He's that weight class. The only reason he missed weight is because of the hydration. So I shouldn't even mention that. But he is just the best striker. You know, he has a win over Jonathan Haggerty. He's the, just the best striker in the planet. In my, in my opinion, he's doing it in both kickboxing and Muay Thai on the highest levels. I think he has to win the striker of the year. Who's your pick for striker of the year? I'm going Alizov. Team is Alizov. I've seen him dominate people. <laughs> I've seen him dominate people in a terrible fashion. He dominates Superman in a terrible fashion. <sighs> he, and he'll kick through you too. He'll kick right through you. And though. his combinations, like it's like it's just <laughs> shit, it's just shit you've never seen before. Like, yeah. He'll throw a roundhouse, come back, Superman, yep. switch stance, hook, hang. Oh, and then you hear the noises too. Every time he hits you, is 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 loud. And, and it's because and he's a little murder. That was a close second for me, just because like uh, he's number one power for pound mm-hmm. kickboxer and all that. But like the fact that he like mixes 
it's just striking martial arts, but he mixes all these martial arts together, together in order. Like, he never really comes out the same. You know he's going to switch stance, maybe stay on the outside just because he's a little longer. Stance is scary as hell. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. Nigga, Because you like know pain right. is coming. He switches stance. From the left? left? He coming southpaw with this shit? Oh, no. Hell no. <laughs> he coming southpaw with this yeah, shit? Yeah, so Chingas Alizal. Yeah. Superlek. Good picks. That, yeah. Good picks. Good nominees. Good that picks. has been good nominees. Good and then picks. lastly, to finish off the 2023 awards yeah. from the will versus the way we got the grappler of the year Uh-oh. nominees checking in at mikey musa Mechi, darth rigatoni f- off of one championship he Is has four with the glasses yeah with the glasses oh yeah i, I got the yeah. one who can't see and he, he got yeah that's bro he's yeah fucking people over he look like a little nerd like, <laughs> like a little nerd dude so he's on that so yeah mikey musa Mechi had win over mm-hmm. Shinya Aoki, uh Almarwi, mm-hmm. who was a was a world champion at the time. Um after training out of Atos. Uh he also beat uh Gamburin, who was a combat samba world champion. And he he was just doing it over a dis like he was beating like when we talk about grapplers of the year, this is Sambo he's going against, this is Jiu Jitsu he's mm-hmm. going against, this is MMA Jiu Jitsu. He beat Jared Brooks, which was a heavy style of wrestler. So he just fought so many different styles. Now were they pound for pound the best grapplers in the world? I don't think anyone really on that list is arguable other than Gam Burin. And that's just because he comes from another art and he was the best in the world mm. in that art. So pound for pound, he might be up there, but he made a decision not to tap against Mikey, which was a bad year. That's decision. a bad, bad idea. Anyways, moving on. Mikey moves back. Nicky Rod. Uh, Nicholas Rodriguez, for those of you who don't know, one of the biggest grapplers out of B team, um, bigger grappler yeah. too. He's a brown belt. He's only been training for five years, and he is beaten world renowned black belts. They call him the black belt slayer. Black belt slayer. They call him the black belt because he's not a black belt, but he's sound like some. Uh, but he's subbing them. Samurai Jack shit. Black belt slayer. Yeah, that's a cool ass nickname, huh? Yeah, that's, 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 that's tough. <laughs> Sound like some shit that'll get you some money. Yeah, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> really, for real? Oh, me. Yeah, so wins over Wagner Rocha, Roberto mm. Jimenez, uh, Cyborg, uh, Yuri Simone. Cyborg. Yeah, Sir, Yuri Simone's. And then he started off the year with a loss to Felipe Pena, but he has to be in there just from the fact how he's growing the sport as well. Growing the sport of jiu-jitsu, I mean, there's a lot more casual BJJ fans now. And we can actually say a casual BJJ. Me. The casual. The casual. All right. So, <laughs> so I got a whole, name. A whole group. Got a name, <laughs> Nicholas Rodriguez. Yes, sir. And then coming in at third, Mika Galvao. Third nominee, Mika Galvao. He's had a just a historic run this year. So, subbing everyone. Subbing everyone. Subbing everyone. Um. God damn it! Who, who's number one? IBJJF. It, it doesn't matter. He's been he uh, ADCC. It doesn't matter. Flow grappling, whatever he's on, he's just proven that he just might be the best in the world. Oh, now he lost to K. Rutolo, but he just might be the best in the world. Mm-hmm. K. Rutolo's up there as well. He's also competing in one championship, but Mick Galvao has to be on this list. And then we got Nicholas Marigali. I know, bro. You know him. I know, bro. If you know him, that you know. Him. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Him. You know why he's on this list. He's <laughs> he's almost taken over for Gordon Ryan. It seems like uh, he's wow. trying to be like Gordon Ryan. I don't really like that, but his game speaks for itself. Game. He's uh, game is game. He's running people through just series and making it look easy. The way he's submitting everyone and beating everyone. I mean, yeah, the, he's probably faced the highest level of grapplers. Um, out of everyone. Mm-hmm. And I also believe he is growing Gi Jiu-Jitsu just as much as Nicky Rod is growing uh, no Gi Jiu-Jitsu and as much as Mikey Musumeci is growing no Gi Jiu-Jitsu as well or submission grappling in general. I think Mikey's growing grappling, Nicky Rod's growing submission grappling or uh, no Gi Jiu-Jitsu and uh, Nicholas Marigali is growing Gi Jiu-Jitsu in my opinion. That's kind of what is going on. And then Mika's just Mika. He's right, putting dude. on for the Brazil. Yeah. Um, but for my 2023 grappler of the year, just based off of what he's doing and, and the way he's doing it and, and my me being a fan of multiple different martial arts masters, I'm going to have to go with Mikey Musumeci, bro. Because I think he's already pound for pound the best, I think. In my opinion, he's the best in the world. Mm-hmm. Winning gi, winning no gi. He's now, 
and now he's having fun a little bit, but he's also facing people from different martial arts, putting himself through challenges and things like that. The way he uh, submitted Almari to, uh, Almari was not tapped into the leg locks. So he said, fuck it. And I went to this fight too. I saw it. I witnessed the go in action. He did. Wasn't tapping to any heel hooks. Getting his knee blown apart. Mike said, okay, bet. Last couple minutes. I let me just disengage. No longer want to wanna mess with your legs. Let me just climb up, take the back, and choke you out. And he did just that. Just like, it, like when you could choose how you're going to win like that. Oh, he's not going to tap to this. Okay, bet. Let me choke. That's, that's, that's go shit. Yeah. That's go shit. And then, and then. I know. And then he, Aoki locked Shinya Aoki. Like, he's mm -hmm. doing historic shit. He's already pound for pound number one. I think one championship is going to be the new hub and hot spot for the highest of levels of grapplers. Grappling. They already have the Rutolos. They got uh, Mikey Musumeci. They're signing all these other guys yeah. individually. They're paying the most out of all of them. That's going to be the new hub. That's something I'm really looking forward to in 2024, uh, seeing the growth of the sport and the growth of one championship being four events in the U.S. in 2024. But... 2023 Grapital of the Year. I'm Mikey. Mikey Wilson. Yeah. Mikey Wilson. I watched a lot of him. Because I was like, oh, that's how I started. Yeah. I seen him on YouTube. Bruh, he just dominates. Looks like a complete, Individual. I'm like, just look like a nerd. A nerd. Look nerdy dude. And, uh, and to be honest, I think he might be a little bit like autistic or not. You know, it's, you know, it's people with, with autism who really hone in. When they hone in on something, when they hone in on one particular thing, and they gotta do it perfect every time, that's you're only gonna side. produce the best. Yeah, you're only gonna produce the best. I feel like you don't I think feel like that's the best. The best grapplers are a little bit autistic. I think Gordon Ryan's a little bit autistic. I think he's a little bit autistic, but mm. but what is he? One of the greatest of all but time. Everything was meant for something, though. If every everything, everything is meant for something. So if, you don't, if you don't think autism at a point at a point in time wasn't needed. For some shape, no, form, or reason, and in some ways, it's an advantage. I think, I think, bro, with all those, um, like, uh, I guess some people would consider them disability. I don't even consider them a disability. No. Bro. I, I just think that that brains work differently. They do. Brains work differently, and uh, you know, if as long as you learn how to use your brain, and someone you have maybe a good mentor or teacher to teach you how to use your brain. Mm -hmm. And we're not the people that oh, you like. So we can't determine what's normal or what's not. Nah, hell no. Nah. We're not the people to do that. Nah, definitely not. So if God made you, you're normal. Amen. Normal. But guys, there you have it. Man, Will versus the way end of the year awards and honors. Oh. Again, you thank you for supporting the channel. Um, thank you for supporting the podcast. We got off to a good start this year. Twenty twenty four, bro. We twenty twenty four. We're breathing. Man. Yeah, if you you know, ever Ooh. since COVID, these years are kind of like, Dog. they've kind of blended and meshed. Ever since COVID, like... things hold more weight now. I know how to appreciate things. You think so? I know so. What do you think your, your hardest moment of, of this year was? Talking about appreciating things. Hardest moment? Yeah, so we'll go, I, I maybe like your hardest moment, then maybe your best moment or your happiest moment. Bruh. My probably hardest moment was losing my grand my great grandmother. That was tough. That was tough because she was always there. That was tough, but she ain't going nowhere. Shoot, that was probably the toughest one. Not bad. The best one, man, getting getting to spend more time with my family. Because when I was younger, I was kind of like kind of like sections off from them. So I was kind of mm -hmm. doing my own thing. Getting older, I learned how to appreciate things more. Talked about that. So this year, getting time to spend with my my brothers, my mom, my dad, cousins, stuff like that. Yeah, I enjoyed that. You know, I, I I'm actually gonna I don't want to bop off that, but I actually might have to do that because uh, mm. for my best moment, yeah, it has to be just like actually like finding a routine yeah. with family to where I'm yeah. seeing them every week. You mm -hmm. know, because you're not always with your family. No. Or you sometimes you take them for granted, and you ignore them, but these oh. are the people who who helps you learn life, you know what I mean? And you're still going to be learning through them. And yep. if you think about it, you got the most chemistry. Like, you just, like, I think having a good relationship with your family is, that's something that's so undervalued. Mm -hmm. And uh, if y'all are listening to this, to be honest, uh, life doesn't live forever because of my hardest moment. Someone close to me, I don't really want to disclose it, but someone close to me, uh, you know, they got sick mm -hmm. and, uh, 
yeah, there was there was thoughts that they might not be here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that hit close to home, and uh, you know, hey, <sighs> puts things in perspective. On oh, me, bro. Puts things in perspective. It gets you through turbulent times because you know, I, I mean, it puts you in th- turbulent times, but when you start thinking about it and understanding it, it, it gets you through th- turbulent times. And, and on that topic, that's also why me being able to spend time with family, you know, I cherish that. Yes, bro. I cherish that. Yeah. From this year and every year I get to do that like that, I don't ever want to have another year. I don't ever want to be on another end of the year, Will the Versus the Way podcast, thinking that something else is greater than, you know, spending time with my loved ones. That's so. a fact. That's a fact. Maybe next year we can talk about how much, how much, how much money we just got. <laughs> <laughs> how much money? Man, you want to go make some more money? Yeah, yeah man. Let's go make some more money. Right. <laughs> we'll the way, bro. We'll the way. Episode 23. 23. 23. Georgia yes. shit. 23. We're on that Jordan hey. episode. All right. uh, Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one. What's up? Big things coming. What is up, Wade MMA family? New episodes of The Will vs. The Way drop weekly. Don't forget to check out our latest episodes and other MMA content on Wade MMA. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.